Khartoum, pro-democracy protesters prepared Saturday to launch a two-day civil disobedience campaign against Sudan's military coup, as Arab mediators were expected in Khartoum to try to defuse the crisis. The calls were spearheaded by the Sudanese Professionals Association, an umbrella of trade unions which were instrumental in the 2018-2019 protests against now ousted President Omar al-Bashir. The spa urged protesters to set up barricades from Saturday night and to stage a two-day, peaceful civil disobedience campaign against the military's October power grab. The Sudanese people have rejected the military coup, the SPA said on Twitter, vowing no negotiation, no partnership, no legitimacy. We will start by barricading the main streets to prepare for the Massachusetts civil disobedience on Sunday and Monday, it said, urging protesters to avoid confrontation with the security forces. The calls have been circulated via the text messages as internet services have been largely down since October 25, the day of the military coup. That day, Sudan's top general Abdel Fattah al-Burhan dissolved the government as well as the ruling joint military civilian sovereign council. Burhan also declared a state of emergency and detained Sudan's civilian leadership, including Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdak and members of his government. Hamdak was later placed under effective house arrest and the military has since Thursday released four civilian members of his government. Other key figures have however remained in detention. The military takeover sparked a chorus of international condemnation and punitive aid cuts, with world powers demanding a swift return to civilian rules. On Friday, the Union Human Rights Council joined global condemnation of the coup, with its head Michelle Bachelet describing the situation in Sudan as deeply disturbing. Sudan has since August 2019 been led by a civilian military ruling council to steer a transition to full civilian rule. Last month's coup has triggered nationwide protests which were met by a deadly crackdown that left at least 14 demonstrators killed and some 300 wounded, according to the Independent Central Committee of Sudan's doctors. Multiple mediation efforts for a political settlement between Sudan's military and civilian leaders have since been underway, with no sign of a breakthrough yet. On Saturday, the Arab League said a high level from the Pan-Arab bloc was due to arrive in another bit. The delegation will meet with various Sudanese political leaders. With the aim of supporting efforts to move past the current political crisis, the organization said. Representatives of the Israeli government have also been trying to resolve the crisis, according to Israeli media reports. Sudan agreed last year to normalize ties with the Jewish state. I blocked test wire.